Dear English learners, this video is for those of you who want to learn interesting facts about an English-speaking country, specifically about Australia, that celebrates its public holiday, Australia Day, on the 26th of January. I am going to tell you about the controversies around this holiday and facts about Australia I find interesting and fun. For example, about Aboriginal painting and music, Australian lifestyle and cute Australian animals. I'm also going to tell you about some typical Australia Day entertainments. I believe it will be useful for English learners as well as for English teachers, since I give a lot of sources for students with different levels of proficiency, pointing out to which levels they suit. You can find all the links in the description of this video. I believe this content will bring a lot of joy excitement and inspiration into English class. So let's get started. My, my first suggestion is for English teachers. It is an idea of how to start your lesson about Australia and to encourage your students to speak even though they have very limited knowledge about Australia. You can ask them what associations they have with Australia. If you want, you can give them some visual stimuli like this picture. As I mentioned above, not all Australians recognize the 26th of January as a holiday, since it marks the 1788 landing of the first fleet, which means the beginning of the British colonization. It had very damaging consequences for Australian Aboriginals. I'm not going to dive deeper into this topic. You can find out more about Australia Day and Sorry Day in the following short videos for pre-intermediates. I'd like to use this opportunity and tell a bit about Australian history and culture. If you prefer to learn about the Australian lifestyle, you can skip the next few minutes. But I hope you will be keen to discover more about the longest uninterrupted cultural tradition in the world. I'm not able to tell a lot due to the length of this video and my lack of profound knowledge. I just want to mention some original elements of the Aboriginal culture and encourage you to research more. But let me start with the acknowledgement of country. A traditional formula used by Australians at the beginning of public events. You can see the text on your screen. Usually the name of the tribe or clan that lives in a certain place is mentioned. In my case, that is the ER nation. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the ER nation. I pay my respect to the elders, past, present, and emerging, for they hold the memories, the traditions, and the culture of. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people across the nation.
an excellent source to find out more about Aboriginal history is the SBS documentary First Australians. It might be difficult for the learners with a level lower than upper intermediate, but if your English is quite good, please find the link below. Fortunately, art is a great tool that lets us understand another culture before we achieve a high level of language proficiency. If you teach kids, you can show them how to paint in an Aboriginal style. Find the ideas and materials under this link. If you want to use something more serious and original, I also give a link to a documentary below. Another thing suitable even for beginners is music. You can admire such an unusual musical instrument as didgeridoo and listen to its sounds. You also can see how it is used in traditional rites and ceremonies. I don't dare to talk about the key concept of the Aboriginal culture during time, but if you want to understand an Aboriginal worldview, I strongly recommend you Tyson Yankapoto's book, Sand Top. Let me turn now to the next topic, in particular to an Australian lifestyle, which is considered to be very pleasant and relaxed. And it is true. As you know, Australia has a long coastline and amazing beaches. They let enjoy many tranquil activities such as walking, swimming, snorkeling, surfing, sailing, or just sleeping. If you would like to learn more about beaches and practice passive voice at the same time, please follow me up on YouTube. I will upload the video titled English on the Beach very soon. If you want to feel an Australian beach lifestyle, I recommend you a funny BBC video that aims at answering the question, why do Australians love to go barefoot? It suits the intermediate level, but even if you are a beginner or a pre-intermediate learner, you still can enjoy the atmosphere of an Australian summer. Surfing is a very intriguing and exotic spot for me since I come from a landlocked country. If it is true for you as well, I suggest watching a video that presents a brief history of surfing, see it the intermediate level, and the And the episode from the ABC documentary Australian Story about a young surfer, Tyler Wright. It is not complex in terms of vocabulary, so even if you are a pre-intermediate, you can enjoy it. By the way, ABC documentaries 
Australian story in particular, is a good way to see how the life in Australia looks like. Another episode about a famous Australian I recommend is the story of Steve Irwin, a charismatic presenter of well-known programs about dangerous Australian animals, such as crocodiles and snakes. Steve Irwin is a good illustration of one thing that seems to be remarkable and very touching about Australians, namely their attitude to wild animals. To understand how deeply Australians care for their animals, you can visit the web page of the Koala Hospital in Port Macquarie. You can study interesting facts about these unique marsupials. This section on the aforementioned web page uh, suits uh, the upper intermediate level. If your level of English proficiency I encourage you to take a quiz I prepared for the beginners. If you teach kids, you can find a lot of educational and entertaining materials on the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital's web page. If you dream to have a koala as a pet, it is easier than you think. Of course, if you are okay, that it would happen virtually. You can adopt a koala, find photos and stories of those little ones who need help, and read about the conditions of the adoption. I also give a link to the story of the most famous patient in this hospital, a viral video with koala Louis saved from the bushfires in 2019. There are almost no words in it, so it is a good material even for beginners. I also attach a link to a video that tells how zookeepers help their animals to cool down during heat waves in Queensland, and my favorite BBC video about volunteers around the world helping little bats, koalas, and kangaroo joeys who lost their mothers in 2019 bushfires. The volunteers needed and sewed special pouches and wraps to make them feel more comfortable and calm. And finally, must do things if you are in Australia on the 26th of January. One of the popular entertainments this day is thumb throwing competition. It is great fun. See the link below. Uh, but don't think that throwing thongs is easy. Good technique is very important. Otherwise, you won't succeed in casting them in a reasonable distance. You can find some tips in a video where an Australian girl explains how to do it properly. Apart from the thong throwing competition, I strongly recommend you two typical Australian performances. She Sheep shearing, see the link below. The little lifeguards show. Lifeguards are very important since they save many lives of people who are not careful enough swimming or surfing in the ocean. Many of them started their training when they were school kids.
there are many more amazing things about Australia I haven't mentioned. They will become topics for my next videos. Please subscribe to my channel and watch them. Thank you for your attention. If you want to book a lesson with me, you can do it via email. Olga.nestle at gmail.com.